What do we have here? It's finally here. It took a really long time because they were out of stock and I really wanted it. It had to come all the way from China, then to Belgium, and then to finally in my little cave in the Netherlands. Ooh boy, I am so curious. Anyway, the thing is big, heavy. I had needed two people to carry it to my house because it was delivered at the neighbors. Yeah, I guess it's time to unbox the new 3D printer and boy are we gonna have fun with this one. It is incredibly small <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? This box actually contained resin as well as the 3D printer. The box on the right only has the 3D printer. Here we go. Uh, yes. Haha, <laughs> nice. Whoa, whoa. There's the peculiarity. We got our manual. And a bunch of stuff. GK2, uniformation. Okay, so we got information about the slicer, or yada yada. We're getting to that in a bit. NFAP, which is more, uh, apparently better than FEP. Our level tester. Our power cable. And funnily enough, it's the same as the old printer basically packed on the top. So I guess we packed it the exact same way. We got a smaller box which contains our filters. We have a funnel. We have more gloves. That's good. Makes our paws sweat. We got a flash drive from Netec, which I guess is a good brand. At least it sounds like a good brand, I'm not sure. We got the same screwdriver as we have with our Anycubic printer. We got some extra screws, I guess, when they break or something. We got a tweezers and more of these, like, turn thingies. We got a clipper, I guess, to remove support from U-Safety glasses. Oh, no, no, no. Pekafke? Whatever. It, 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 it's, a, it's a scissors time. A... Spatula. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. This one is a curvy top, which I guess is to make sure that you don't scratch the actual build plate. I like it. It's okay. I rather have a magnetic build plate, but they use this everywhere, so I think it's fine. And you got a what the heck is this? Oh, this is to remove resin from your vat. Okay. <sighs> Here she is. Uh, yeah. Right, so we're just gonna start opening it up and we'll see how far we can take it. Careful. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Oh, this is very nice looking. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. So, right out of the gate, it's a very beautiful machine. Metallic casing, plastic top, but really the high quality plastic. There is a entrance here for a air purifier. Here is the power plug, here is the USB port, which by the way is not for data. Oh, it's here, neatly at the front. Nice, look at that. Here she is, at the front. Let's open her up. Ooh, we got more stuff in here. We got, oh, here is the filter, a HEPA filter for the air purifier. We're gonna put that on. There is more stuff in here. I can lift it out. There's something heavy inside. I guess that's the build plate. I guess we have to flip it over for that. Okay, no. We have to take this out. Let's see. 
Yay, there she is. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, that's a build plate. So yeah, that's kind of cool to see how much bigger this one is. <laughs> I could print an entire hand with this if I wanted to. This is really insane. This is the HEPA filter and you should just basically be able to test mounting directions here, which means you have to put them downward. Whoa. Guys, this is amazing. Still though, if you're doing this kind of stuff, wear a mask. Especially if your environment's not well filtered. This is really easy to install. I'm really surprised how easy that goes. If the rest also goes that easy, then holy moly, this is the best printer in the entire world. There's no brick. This is it. There's no adapter. Guys, three, two, one. Nothing happens. That's fine, I guess we need to... Ooh, it's turning on. By the way, this thing has built-in storage. I don't know if you can see it. I guess we should get you guys closer. So what we got is we got built-in storage, which is nice because if your USB drive crashes, then you can still actually see your prints and it can still print, which is really nice. We got settings, which I think is where we have to go. So let's just do that. Oh nice, it's a really nice touchscreen. That is way better than anything I've ever seen on a 3D printer. System settings, system language, I guess system settings. You got a name, sounds, ooh this is really nice, heating. It's good for your essence, you can set the temperature, which is using the heating from the system to actually heat the room, the, the printer room. So it's air conditioned by its own heat, which is super nice. You can even see the temperature right here. Oh, this is like the manual error log. Export field, please insert flash. Oh, nice. So you can actually store the logs. Device information, what's this? Z movement. Let's take this and let's move her up to, I guess, the top. The operation is performed, can be performed after zeroing. What? Oh, there it goes. She starts moving up. There she goes. Here we go. That's the tape removed. Now we can remove this protective paper. We can... What? This is the vat? Holy moly! What? Jesus Christ, guys. Check this out. This is the entire vat. This is huge. This thing is huge. It's... Damn. And there even is a cover. That's really nice. Oh, that's so cool. Holy frick. I guess we have to remove this. I'm just gonna do it. Ooh, this is so sexy. Holy freaking moly. Look at this. The bottom of the fat is not touching the border. So when you put this down, you don't actually damage the fat. Everything is so well thought out. It's absolutely insane. I don't even know if we have enough resin for all of this. Holy moly. I made a mistake about not touching the border, but I guess it's kind of this stuff, which kind of is curly. So I guess fair enough. Normally speaking, as you can see, it doesn't really stick. Yeah, this is fine. Cool. Let's keep the cover on it for now so it doesn't get too dusty. Ooh, this is always so nice. Oh, this is pretty... Firm. Ooh, look at that. So I just take this. And just slide it in like this. And then just click this shut. There we go. That's it. Now you're done. That's how easy it is. I did that with one hand, guys. One hand. Uh, oh, you're, you're zero. Oh boy, the thing is going down again. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Was that zeroing? That was it? Huh, that was scary. Oh, that looks level. Now we can move to the top. Yeah. Nice. Okay, she's plugged in. 
let's go back to this let's go back to the U disk and there's some test files on it nice there is a GK2 leveling test file seriously that's really boring I guess that we will set it up and we're gonna get a better print file I guess because this is a really boring print and I'm not really interested in printing this peculiarity that's for sure all right so you might be wondering what are we going to print well I actually have a really good idea whoa <laughs> so I couldn't even print this thing straight with my old printer but here I can just do it okay it's saved now let's get the USB flash drive, not the original one, because I lost that one already. So this is really nice, because this frame I actually need anyway, because it's for my uh, lucid dreaming goggles, or mask I should say, my sleeping mask. But sadly it broke, and they actually sent me a 3D model to fix it. It is plastic, but it feels like metal. I guess we're just going to pour it in with a filter because I do it the other way around. Normally you filter your resin and put it in the bottle. But I bottle it and then filter it as it comes into the fat. So let's shake this resin. And let's see what's gonna happen. So yeah, I'm just shaking the bottle right now. As you can see it's the Eco Clear. I don't know how much I'll need but I'll just pour in a lot. So once all the filtered resin is pushed in, you can throw this one away. Oh shit, here we go again. Oh, this is pretty scary to be honest. Uh, that's it I guess. I think she's ready to go. Okay, the USB drive was blinking for a bit. Resin volume, six milliliters, I guess we're there. Yeah, so it copies it. So it's actually heating up, 22 degrees. So far, the smell is okay. I don't smell any resin. It's already 24 degrees, holy shit. Oh boy, this is really scary. I'm just gonna put my hand on the off button just in case it goes wrong. Oh, she goes in. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. This one is really quiet. Holy moly, it's so quiet. It's way more silent than the one before. She's going guys, she's going, two hours. Oh, I just got up and I had to cancel my current print because it got stuck to the resin fat. This was my first print, which is kind of sad that it already failed, but it's a good learning moment. My guess is that the exposure time for the first layer was too short after all. And also, I think that I should add support after all, because maybe it's not enough to stick fully to the build plate. I needed this rubber thingy to kind of rick it loose from the resin fat, and I also needed tweezers to actually carefully pick it out without scratching the surface. Super difficult procedure, but I got it out, so we're ready for another test. And this time I will add support and more exposure time. It's finally finished. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna peel it off. Right out of the gate, what's really nice is that this build plate has little corners in the build plate. It can spill in here rather than on the floor. So when you put it back in the printer, all the resin, which basically is liquid gold, so it's expensive, just drips back into the fat, which is kind of nice. I really don't like doing this. I'm always afraid I'm gonna scratch the build plate. Well, there's your answer.